friends, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'm going to be showing you my current fountain pen collection. It's not a very expansive collection, but I'm pretty happy with what I have so far. So let's just hop right to it. First, I'm going to be showing you my currently ink pens, and I do keep them all in my Galen Leather Slip and Zip pen case. I love this leather so much. It's so luscious and so soft, and it still smells amazing. So opening her up, I have four currently ink pens. So first, I have my Twisby Eco in the extra fine. This is the limited edition yellow. It's such a bright and sunny color. This is one of my favorite pens ever. And I have it loaded up with some Noodler's X Feather and it's almost done. So I have maybe a couple more journal entries in this pen and then I'm gonna have to reload it. Next is my Kaveco Sport, also an extra fine, and this is the light blueberry color. I do have the pen clip, and it matches the nib. They're nice and matchy-matchy. And I converted this into an eyedropper pen, so I'm not using a cartridge for this one. I have the pen body filled up with Lamy Tourmaline, and I still have a fair bit of ink left. I don't know if you can see about that much. My third ink pen is my Platinum Preppy in Extra Fine also. I mainly use my fountain pens for journaling, so a lot of my pens are extra fine because I'm a tiny writer. And I have this loaded up with Pilly Can 4001 in blue black. And I really like this pen. It's very affordable, but it's a really good writer and the body is quite sturdy, although the pen clip did break off when I had it in my pen case. I have no idea what happened. I just pulled it out one day and suddenly the pen clip was gone. So that's unfortunate. But again, this one was very cheap. So I can always replace this if I really wanted to. But the pen still works just fine. So there's no reason for me to get another one. And then my fourth currently ink pen is my latest edition. This is the Esterbrook Esty in their lilac and gold color. This pen is so gorgeous. I'm so happy that I got it. This thing has been on my wish list for such a long time. I think if you looked at my Fountain Pen Attic video, I mentioned that I wanted to get this pen and I did indeed get it for Black Friday. And I bought this on Anderson Pens. So here's the nib, it's so beautiful. I have this inked up with Diamine Scribble Purple. I also picked up that ink during Black Friday. And I love how wavy this pen is when I write. And look at the body, it's so beautiful. I'm just in love with this pen. So here are all of my ink pens at the moment. Moving on to my stored pens. When I'm not using my pens, I keep them stored in my Galen Leather 20 slot pen case. This is also in the Crazy Horse Brown Leather. I love, love, love this case. It is about the size of an A5 notebook cover. So just to give you a comparison, that is how it looks. So that can give you an idea of how large this pen case is. So let's open her up. Here are the pens that I have in storage. So I told myself that I would only buy enough pens to fill up this case, so 20 pens overall. And as you can see, I still have some room to grow. I have four pens left for this pen case, and I already know what pen I'm going to get next. But since it is on the pricier side, I do have to hold off on it for now, but I can't wait to get that pen. It looks so gorgeous. Here are all of the pens that I have in storage and I'm not going to go in any particular order just because I don't exactly remember the order of when I got these pens. But I do know that the very first pen that I bought was the Pilot Kakuno pen. After doing a fair amount of research, I decided to get this one as my first pen because it was relatively affordable and it had some pretty good reviews. And the nib has this super cute winky face on it. Look how cute that is! And I really like this pen. It writes very thinly, which is perfect for me. And the Kaveco pen clip can fit the Pilot Kakuno pretty decently. So if you're looking for a clip for this pen, you can grab the Kaveco one. 
So yeah, here's my very first pen. I kind of wish that I'd gotten the demonstrator one, but I do like the light blue color as well. And then my second fountain pen that I got was the Lamy Safari. And this came in the fine nib and I got the replacement nib in extra fine. This is another really good starter pen. If you're thinking of jumping into fountain pens, I do recommend this one also. This is a very smooth writer. And I actually got this pre-loved from a bundle that I purchased a long time ago. So along with my Lamy Safari, I got the Platinum Studio Pen, I believe is the name. And this one is in a medium nib. And this is the broadest nib that I own so far, apart from my Flex Pen. And it's the only medium nib that I own. So I typically use this for lettering or writing out headers. I don't use this for writing because it's way too thick for that. It's all metal and it did get this little dent. I don't know what happened, but that kind of makes me sad. All right, so after those three pens, I can't remember the order of the other pens that I got because my collection just kind of started getting out of control. So I'm just gonna start moving downwards. Here I have another Twisby Eco. This is in the limited edition mint blue color. I love the Twisby Eco so much that I wanted to grab another one so that when this runs out of ink, I can just fill this one up and I don't miss out on using this pen at all. That's my rationale for getting multiple pens. And I do love both of these colors. These are pretty much my two favorite colors. And then my next pen is the Nagasawa Pro color in the extra fine as well. And this color is in the Kobe blue. It does have a sailor nib. From my understanding, Nagasawa is a specific stationery store that sailor collaborates with to produce their own set of pens. I'm not 100% sure, but the nib is indeed Sailor, and you can get this on jet pens. They offer different colors from the ones that the Sailor brand sells, so if you're looking for a certain color, check out the Nagasawa line because I find that I prefer those color lines over the Sailor ones. So here it is. It's a really nice and thin body. It has a slight sparkle to it, which is just so nice. Let's see if I can focus that. I don't know if you can see that, but that's just gorgeous. And then up next is another Kaveco Sport. And this is the, I believe this is just called the green one, but it's this beautiful emerald green color. It looks like a jewel. It's so gorgeous. And this is an all plastic body as well. So you can also turn this into an eyedropper pen. I find that I like pens that have a high ink capacity. So the Twisby Eco and the Kaveco Sport as an eyedropper. Those two are my favorite pens to write with because I just fill them up and they last and last and I don't have to constantly clean them. And then next is my Moonman S3. I actually bought this one off of AliExpress and it is not a bad writer at all. Here's what the nib looks like. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous pen. I don't remember how much I got this for, but this wasn't very expensive at all. I will say though that the branding on the pen cap, if you look closely, it's starting to kind of peel off. If you look at the bottom here, like whatever coating they have there is starting to come off. It's like bubbling up. So that's unfortunate, but again, this was a cheap pen. So you get what you pay for, right? Next up is my Pilot Vanishing Point in the champagne color. I love the retractable tip on this pen, but unfortunately I was a little bit disappointed by it because I struggle so much with filling this up and I haven't used this pen in a long time because of that. I know that I got a couple of tips about using a syringe for the converter on this pen and I haven't tried that yet, but Next time I pull out this pen to use, I'll give it a try and I'll let you guys know how that goes. And then we went through this pen already, so let's move on to one of my favorite, favorite pens. This is the Jin Hao 51A, again in the extra fine. And this is a beautiful, beautiful pen. And again, another cheap pen that performs really well. I was pleasantly surprised with this pen when I first got it. It's a really smooth writer. It never skips. The converter is really easy to load. I love the pen body. It looks gorgeous. So here's what the converter looks like. It can hold up a fair amount of ink. So this lasts me a while when I use it. This is definitely one of the best fountain pen purchases that I've ever made because it was affordable, but 
I've gotten a lot of use out of this pen. Up next is my biggest pen fail. This is the Noodler's Ahab Flex Pen and I never figured out how to use this. Anytime I tried using it, ink would drip over the nib and it would splatter ink all over my paper. So that's unfortunate, but I know I'm doing something wrong. I just can't figure out what it is. So it's just been sitting in my pen case for now. I do like the body, nice and thick. I like the design. It's nice and understated, but yeah. <laughs> this pen and I, we're just not getting along right now. And then onto this side, I only have two pens. So I have the Twisby Diamond Mini AR in the mint blue. I love this pen. It's so tiny and cute, but it doesn't hold as much ink as the Twisby Eco. So this does run out of ink faster, which is sometimes a good thing, sometimes a bad thing, but either way, I do like this pen. I like the material of the body. Definitely feels more luxurious than the Twisby Eco. This was actually the very first Twisby that I owned before I got the Eco. I got the Iron and Mini because of the color. I wanted the mint blue and they didn't offer the mint blue Eco at the time. So I got this one. I really enjoyed writing on it. So that's what encouraged me to jump onto the Twisby Eco train and I haven't gotten off ever since. And then last but not least, I have my Platinum Preppy in the O3 nib. So this is in the fine. I decided to give the fine nib a try and I was able to journal on it. So maybe in the future, I will be open to buying more fine nibs. And as you can see by this O-ring here, I did try to use this as an eyedropper, but I wasn't as successful with this. The ink kept leaking out of here, even though I would warm up this pen before using it and making sure that it's nice and sealed up with silicone grease. It just wasn't working out for me. Again, I didn't know what I was doing wrong, so I decided to give up on that and just use regular converters on this pen. But that's okay because I was able to turn the Kaveco Sport into an eyedropper. So if I need a pen with a lot of ink capacity, I can always just go to my Kavecos. And that's it for my fountain pen collection so far. Thank you so much for watching everybody. This is Baba Notes and I'll see you next time. Bye!